This is a continuation of gyroscopic flight instruments. This portion of the lesson goes into detail about the heading indicator. Now let's have a look at the heading indicator. The heading indicator is a gyroscopic flight instrument and it is powered by the vacuum system. That means there's a gyro spinning inside this instrument and that gyro is having air pulled across it to make it spin real fast. That's the work of the vacuum system. Here's a little blow up of that heading indicator. Now do you see the gyro? And you see the little cups on the gyro. Now that gyro spins real fast, it maintains rigidity, and as the aircraft rolls into a bank and is allowed to change heading, forces are applied to that little gyro and those forces are transferred through this series of gears and connectors and it causes the card on the face of the instrument to turn and the pilot sees a heading change. Now when we look at the face of the instrument, you have to imagine looking at it from the top down. And here's a good blow up of it. It shows the degrees of heading 360. Notice that four cardinal headings are identified with a letter. N E S W. You got it. North, East, South, and West. The big numbers are every 30 degrees. So take a look. 3, 6, E is East, 12, 15, S is South, 21, 24, W is West, 30 and 33, and back to North. Those indicate in tens. So the 3 means 30, the 6 means 60, and so on. Now in between those, if you look closely, you can break it down further. So there's a big white tick mark for each 10 degrees, and then there's a small tick marks in between. When we're looking at the heading indicator on the G1000, here is a blow up of what that looks like. Notice it's very, very similar. We've got four letters for four main cardinal headings and then big white numbers for every 30 degrees and then those are divided up into tens and fives. On the G1000 we have what we call a flux gate magnetometer. Now that's neat because what it means is this flux gate magnetometer is an electrical magnet interacting with the flux lines of the Earth's magnetic field. And it's keeping this compass card on your G1000 consistently oriented to magnetic north. If we go back to that heading indicator face, from the old air-driven heading indicator. That was not automatically tuned to magnetic north. Every 15 minutes, a pilot had to check his magnetic compass or her magnetic compass and reach down and turn that heading indicator to make it agree with the magnetic compass. So in the G1000, that flux gate magnetometer does that for us. That's the heading indicator.